Hey, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk to you today about a few of the features of the Chambers gas range. So why do you need the Chambers? Well, to save money, to save time, to cook the best tasting food ever. They're easy to repair and they last a lifetime. I had my first Chambers back in the 80s. It was powder blue like this one and though I loved using it, I really didn't have any idea what I had. After almost 20 years without a Chambers, I found this black C model that I call Betty, and I put her to work in my house. Soon after that, I lucked into this B model, and we use it in our outdoor kitchen. It's great in the summertime for canning. Let's talk about what's different about the Chambers. Let's just start with the stovetop. The burners, the deep well, the griddle, the broiler, that's a lot for a stovetop. Daisy Burner. Instead of one ring of flame, you get four small cones of flame that help distribute heat evenly under your food and you avoid getting hot spots. The griddle. It's perfect for grilled sandwiches, pancakes, hamburgers, whatever. It has a nice even temperature and because it's removable, it's easy to clean. The stovetop broiler is great for broiling steaks and lots of other things. You have control over the flame as well as the distance between the food and the flame. You can use the platter as a sizzling platter to serve right at the table and because it's removable, cleanup is really easy. Let's talk about the thermal well. The thermal well can cook food in the same amount of time as on top of the stove, but with half the gas. You start your food cooking lid on and then halfway through, shut the gas off and let it finish cooking on retained heat. The well and the lid are insulated with rock wool. You can bake in the thermal well too. Just think of it as a small oven. The original accessories for the deep well are getting very hard to find. It came with these special kettles with the sealed lids so you could lift things out and you could cook two or three things at the same time. Also that odd looking thing with the grill on it is a thermal baker and putting that in gives an air space so it's more like using it as an oven. Speaking of ovens, now we're getting to my favorite part. There are a lot of great features to this oven beginning with the latch that ensures a tight seal. There's a cast iron baffle on the bottom of this oven to evenly distribute the heat. Now most models have a pilot light for easy use. I have mine turned off to save gas. All sides and the door of the oven are completely insulated with rock wool and there are vents that allow airflow when the gas is on but they close when the gas is turned off to retain heat and that's what seals in your moisture and your flavor in your oven it's fantastic just a few fun facts that I call the safe the safety and the savings as for safety, as early as the 1920s, Chambers ranges had a thumb latch safety handle. Small children can't work that handle, but it's easy for adults. The savings, well, the savings ought to be obvious. If you can cook food with half of the gas in the oven and the deep well, you're gonna save some money. And the safe, this is fun, but with complete rock wool insulation on all sides and the rocking oven, you can put your valuables in the oven to use it as a fireproof safe. Do remember to take things out before you start dinner. That was just a quick preview of some of the features of the chambers, but let's get into the nuts and bolts now. These are the tags on the two stoves that I own. The U on the tag means universal orifices, or so I'm told. Check before you buy because maybe not all of these stoves have universal orifices. The universal orifice can be opened or closed to regulate the flow of gas to the burners. And as you can see on the tag on my stove, the company rated the stove for a variety of different gases. And the other adjustment you can make is for airflow. This screw and plate will allow you to regulate how much air comes in for a good clean flame. So by adjusting both the air and gas, we can get a solid blue flame that burns clean and doesn't cause dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. A yellow flame is a sign of a bad mixture. Some orange flecks are not a problem, but the flame should be mostly solid blue.
as you can see, we're making adjustments to the orifice with a wrench and then making adjustments to the air with a flat screwdriver. You make small adjustments and patience is key here. After each adjustment, wait just a second and let the gas and the airflow settle out to see where you really are. Remember to make small adjustments and keep working on it until you get that solid blue flame that you really want. Once adjusted, you should be able to switch from a high flame to a very low flame without any problem. Now the oven, the deep well, and the broiler all adjust the same way. There are pilot lights as well, but as I mentioned, I don't use the pilot lights. So I said you'd want a chambers to save money, to save time, and to cook the best tasting food ever. To have easy repairs and because it lasts a lifetime. Cooking with less fuel will save you money. Cooking whole meals in the oven or deep well will save time and money. And the griddle and grill are great to cook quick meals and are easy to clean. As far as cooking the best tasting food ever, you're going to have to be your own judge on that. But after you've baked bread and cakes or roasted meat in a fully insulated oven that maintains even heat, you just can't imagine the difference. The repairs are simple. I can't think of any part of this stove that can't easily be repaired. Even the porcelain side panels come off and can be re-porcelained or replaced. The oven thermostat is the trickiest part, should you ever have to replace it, but there are parts available. And as for lasting a lifetime, John Chambers started producing these ranges in 1912, and some of those early models are still in use. This is John Chambers' daughter, Alma, giving a cooking class on Chambers in 1939. How cool is that? These are some examples of chamber stoves that I found for sale online. I don't know what's available in your area or at the time that you're looking for this. I'm just saying that I usually can find a good working chamber stove for under $500. So that's it then. And I just want to say that all of the video footage that you've seen here is mine on my own stove and quite a few of the photographs though I did use some archive photos just to make it more interesting thank you for watching please subscribe if you'd like to see more like this be sure and hit that like button or if you're just feeling mean hit that dislike button